let's get started. Within the set, there are two sets of charts. There is a main book, and there's also a smaller book that we'll get into as we go. Uh, within the first page of the main book, we have listed here, it's called the self chart. And these are all just different specific possibility areas um, within the body. Uh, for instance, uh, there, there is the dream self, and there's also an area called the sleep self, which I work quite a bit in. So any one of these may be a possibility of where a problem exists within a person. And then moving forward is the letter chart. Now this letter chart is very, very important and is probably one of the hardest charts for anyone to have to learn. Uh, the letter chart will spell things out and uh, give you a confirmation possibly on an answer or bring you to a higher level of where you need to be. So for instance, the question, what problem do I need to work on with it in this person? And then uh, the letter chart, for me, it'll spell out, start to spell out the problem is within the gallbladder, within the liver. And it'll say the stressor, and it may confirm an answer that we had found within the stressor charts. So the letter chart is very, very important. Uh, it is, again, one of the hardest charts to learn to use. But once you really get into it, it is something that can be very beneficial for you. Next is the question chart. Now, in dowsing, the question is more important than the answer. If you ask the right question, you get the right answer. So these are just basically a list of possible questions that could get you uh, into the right direction. And then is the master chart. The master chart has basically everything within it every area of the body and it also goes to some sub charts chart one and two which are all just different possibility areas of the body there's physical there's uh, uh, spiritual there's etheric uh, possibilities within these charts so for instance the the master chart may send you to the aura charts which are further down the line here so the master chart is is definitely something you would use on an ongoing basis within the client and then chart one is just another master. It's a sub of a master chart. This one contains DNA, chromosomes, various other areas of the body, and same with chart number two. As you can see, I do a lot of my own changes and writing within the charts to facilitate uh, different problems that I come up with on a daily basis. Now, we're gonna go into the charts called the to-do charts. These are all charts that will give you possibly a heads up of, of what you need to do for that person. Sometimes there's an entity or a consciousness involved that we need to work around one way, shape, or form. And these to-do charts just might do that, kind of get you in the back door. For instance, re revoke a vow, uh, or uh, um, let's see, work on the chakras. They'll give you that heads up that you need to go to this certain area. And when, if you're having trouble dowsing with somebody trying to find the right answer, sometimes the to-do charts will give you the right uh, the right direction. So there is one, two, and three of the to-do charts. Now the stressor charts. This is basically the meat and potatoes of, of the whole system. Within the stressor charts is basically almost every possibility imaginable that could be within a health problem, spiritual problem, entity problem, etc. So the subcharts go from 1 to 18, mine go to 19, I added an extra chart, and they will just basically give you direction as to what chart to look at in order to, to find the problem. And then after that, these are the virus charts, self-explanatory, many different viruses are within the body, and these are all the possibilities. There are five different virus charts. And then, of course, after that is the bacteria charts. Pretty much the same, all different types of bacteria. Um, again, I like to add my own words. Chemtrail bacteria seems to be a very big component that I work with. So the bacteria charts, very important. And then we get into the aura charts. Now, within the aura charts, there's going to be a lot of terminology here that you may not quite understand, okay? Uh, which is all right because um, sometimes uh, you know this consciousness is going to know what you're talking about what what this is and you just need to go along with it so if there is any um, 
question as to what the terminology feel free and contact me and I will certainly um, let you know exactly what it all means so uh, somebody who takes Reiki they may only uh, work within maybe eight of the auric bodies whereas I've got three charts full of different possibilities of, of the aura or the energy within the energy of the body so they're all again they're all just possibilities uh, the chakra chart we go from the zero chakra the zero chakra is a very important chakra a lot of people don't know about this is the chakra located one foot below your feet which is, acts as a grounding chakra and we go from 1 to 14 and then we also look at all the layers the chakra has seven layers so this um, shows you all the different layers and of course it could be the entire system even a minor chakra if there's a minor chakra you can ask what area in the body is the minor chakra and then address it that way then we go into all of the areas of the body and all of the areas of the body are taken out of, of the uh, the anatomy book that, that is sent with the course um, and you can uh, uh, refer to that book whenever something comes up so you can see what it does and what it is so we have the skeletal system the urinary system the nervous system um, cardiovascular endocrine muscular system respiratory digestive lymph and immune skin reproductive auditory and visual all the systems of the body are here so basically anything you need to find is going to be right here there's certain things that that aren't in here they're, they're kind of missed the human body book doesn't have everything so sometimes you need to do a little bit of research on your own uh, on the internet to find out what area of the body could be there which is just going to help you to learn a little bit more so that is the first book let's go to the second book now the second book is really interesting because in this book you can use it to confirm a lot of your answers you can use it as another tool such as the first page is levels now what I like to use the level page for is to ask possibly about minerals in the body or, or vitamins or nutrients so you can ask what is the level of calcium within the person's body and it will show you non-existent extremely low low borderline low etc and you can tell where what mineral level somebody may have so that page is very helpful Here's another uh, interesting page that might help you to get over uh, a hurdle. And this is the command page. This page has different uh, possibilities of commands, different suggestions, strengthen, repair, unlock. So if, if the word unlock comes along, you could go to your master charts and say, what area do I need to unlock within this person? And that'll help you down another road, possibly get to the answer a little faster. And of course there is the standard yes and no chart that is self-explanatory now this is a nice easy chart It's called the general area chart and this just uh, whittles down all the areas of the body into their general positions feet and toes ankles abdomen upper back etc so that gives you a quicker possible look at, at what area of the body you might have to work in uh, percentage chart is one I like to use instead of the yes and no chart because it gives you a, a better range of, of yes and no let's say so you can ask how good is a certain supplement for this person instead of saying is this supplement good and it's saying yes or no this will tell you on a percentage basis how good it is ultimately you want to have something within a you know 75 to 100 range of, of how good it is for somebody so if it says it's only 25% good, then you know you don't want to use that supplement for somebody. And you can use a percentage chart for, for many other things also. Numbers chart, self-explanatory, just general numbers if you need to, to find a number. Now the implant chart uh, here is again just suggestions of what type of implant could be within a person's body. Um, you know, uh, insomnia implants, uh, physical malfunction implants various different implants and all possibilities here is all the meridians within the body which is again self-explanatory different suggestions of different types of radiation so if you know on the charts the stressor charts chart 4 says that there is you need to look at the radiation charts then you would come to this chart and find out what type of radiation is causing the health problem within the person 
Now we're gonna go to parasite charts. Parasites are always, always a very big problem within people. When I do live blood analysis in my clinic, I often find that there are parasites causing a health problem. So again, this is just a list of many different types of parasites. You may want to go a little further to find different names, different forms of parasites, but this basically has 95, 99% of all the necessary parasites. Now, uh, we're gonna go to the next one, which is called the problems page. This page is very, very, very helpful. I use it quite often. And again, it's another way to get in to find the answer, to go in the back door, maybe sideswipe an entity and, and trick it um, when you're asking the question. So let's say this person has a migraine. So you would ask the question, what type of problem is the migraine problem? And you might get that it's a muscular problem, a radiation problem, and that'll again will give you another uh, avenue to go down. So let's say uh, it says for migraine that it's a radiation problem. I could I generally then go to the letter chart and ask what is the radiation problem, and it'll spell it out. So that's why the uh, letter chart is very important to utilize all the other charts with. So the problems charts, and there's two of them. And again, with me, I write a lot of my own new findings uh, with, within there. Now, the next set of charts is the heal with charts. So when you were healing somebody, you might want to add a specific energy to heal with uh, th them with it, okay? So these, again, these are all suggestions. And again, if you don't understand exactly what they are, you might be able to look them up on the internet and find them, or you can always uh, send an email and ask about them, okay? there are two different heal with charts now on the heal with charts there is a suggestion for musical notes and these are all different musical notes and they also even gives the do ra uh, mi file you know the, the the entire range of what they are uh, don't ask me to sing them because you don't want to hear it okay <laughs> um so again uh, i've written down also a frequency of 428 salvaggio tones etc so you can uh, use these by adding the, the musical note into the causal body or wherever you douse to find out where the body needs it. And then we get into minerals. Now the mineral charts are the periodic table of elements. So basically every mineral, every element is within these charts. And the, the basic ones are on the front chart so they're a lot easier to find. And there are three charts within there. Now the DNA and cells charts are very helpful. They work very, very well. The first chart is going to show you uh, all the areas of the DNA and also uh, different types of cells. Okay, so it'll give you a direction of where you need to work. Don't, don't be uh, concerned with, you know, working in the DNA is a hard thing to do. It is just an area of the body. You add intent and you can make changes within a person's DNA to certain degrees anyways. So there's the DNA and cells. Now here's the cell structure. When you break down a cell, you have the, the, the nucleus, you have the, the cytoskeleton, all the different um, areas of the cell. And again, this is all within the human body book provided with the course that you can refer to see what, what they are. And here's a list of all the different pairs of chromosomes. Remember, when you work with pa uh, chromosomes, you work with pairs of chromosomes. 1 to 23, X and Y, and even put in the third strand in, in my book, okay? And this, uh, same as the to-do charts, this is the DNA to-do. This will give you some um, heads up or some suggestions on what you need to do for the DNA. This is, you know, something very, very um, uh, out there, very very high up in, in um, how, how to do and work with the DNA. So this may suggest to unstitch the DNA, which, you know, means what? That is something that I developed and I could certainly help you with understanding that and working with it uh, if the time ever comes. So these will all give you some ideas on what you might need to do for the DNA. And then again, you can go to the letter chart and confirm it in certain ways. Now, um, the emotions charts. These charts are quite lengthy. There's uh, 11, it says 12, but there's actually only 11. I got a little carried away making the charts. The emotion charts, are unique because you can use them in two different ways. One is that you can find the emotion that might be controlling uh, the health problem or involved with the health problem. 
and also the emotions charts have words that could lead you in different ways to, to uh, ask a question. So let's say I, I go for the emotion charts to see what is happening and it shows me the word distressed. What that means to me is that I need to ask the question what area in the body is distressed. So the emotion charts you can use in an emotional capacity, also in a guidance capacity to send you in the right direction. And that is that is it for the charts. Now, ultimately, uh, the charts are always changing. There's always something new and something different to put in. My suggestion is if you do find things that you might research and want to add to the charts, feel free and add them to the charts. To the charts. Um, you won't be stepping on my toes and I encourage you to, to use these charts in any way possible to help uh, to find a health problem within somebody.